Annie Young, thank you. We're asking tough questions about a problem with no clear solution, but only one source. The wrong business hours popping up on Google searches for local bars and restaurants even after the owners fix them. So, Brandon, you talked to Shine Distillery, just one of the places facing this. We even spoke to a company who makes their money in part by correcting the search results on Google. Now here at Shine Distillery, the sign on their door may say they're open for lunch and brunch, but they notice through their profits when Google says something different. At Shine Distillery, we're dependent on the public walking in, having a burger or fries. They're celebrating three years in business. We're definitely seeing some recovery and things moving in the right direction. But wrong information is threatening to undo that. Open only evenings during the week. He opens for brunch on Saturday and Sunday. But several times he's noticed Google lists that six hour window is closed and he's noticed those weekends with his cash flow. The week before that we did X number of dollars and then that gets cut in half on the weekends that Google changes our hours. But it really is like the Wild West out there. There's just a lot of information on the web that just isn't accurate. Petit says it's happened at the newly opened bar, the sports bra. If you're calling about our Google listing as permanently closed, that is a mistake. Yeah, this is something that's that's very problematic. It can definitely hurt your business. Once again, you just got to stay vigilant and really watch that information. Petit watches the search engine regularly now and notices another problem. His restaurant does not show up on Google's food near me search. Hey Siri, find food near me. One option I see is Shine Distillery and Grill on North Williams Avenue. Despite popping right up on Apple. Limiting a lot of potential new customers. And John's at his limit with multiple times trying to correct the problems through Google's online portal. It's one more factor in this, the daily struggle of running a restaurant. I'd rather deal with taxes than Google. In a statement to us in response to this story, Google says, quote, when we receive an edit, we use available information to confirm its accuracy before publishing it. Providing accurate, reliable information is our top priority. In that statement, Google also said it blocked 100 million abusive edits last year. Reporting live in North Portland, Braden Thompson, Point Six News. It's hard for them to reach Google, and sometimes it's be hard for us to reach Google. Yes. I, I emailed them months ago with a question they still haven't answered. All right, Brandon, thank you. Uh, if you're